Hello and welcome back to Nagasaki. Today we're building this, this bit to the left of your screen, not the right, ignore that. The bit in the middle and up the top. Yeah, we're doing all of this. It's going to be fun. Yeah, let's just roll the intro. And we're back. So, before I get onto what I'm doing on screen, because at the moment I'm just playing about with some terraforming nodes and just doing a little terraforming here at the little river. But anyway, before I get onto that, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched last week's episode. It did really well and it's so great to see for me because I put a lot of effort into it. I really enjoyed the build. It was so much fun to do, you know, and it's irrelevant whether people watch it or not, but it's lovely to see that people did and people really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for myself. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this episode and everything coming up from here. So what am I doing on screen? Well, basically in a nutshell, I'm putting buildings down, but I started off by trying to build this sort of river that goes through Nagasaki. There's several little ones that kind of sprout off the main um, entrance from the sea. So the, the, the sea mouth as it were, or river mouth, isn't it? River mouth into the sea. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And I spent a while doing it with sort of the terraforming nodes and later on I'll go in and start decorating that. But you know, we'll come to that as, as I do it. But for the moment, we're building these buildings, putting just some nice little shops down, you know, kind of, this is the main road that's going through this part of Nagasaki. And I really wanted, you know, it to feel alive and bustling. So we're putting down some the shops, so commercial, get some commercial in, people like to shop and, um, you know, some residential in that as well, just to make it a bit more busier. People are walking around this area quite a lot. They're driving through it just to make the road busier. You know, at this point during this build, there's still not a lot of people using that main road. It's not, it's a one lane of thing, um, which is annoying the whole one lane thing. But you know, I do work around that and you'll see that in the cinematics at the end, we really work around. As I mentioned last week, this is obviously a build in Nagasaki, but it's not a one-to-one. -one. It's not a perfect representation of Nagasaki. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to build my interpretation of of, of the uh, the region and, and the city itself. So you know, we're doing this this build, and this is slightly different. Um, I have adapted it a little bit to make it more fit with me and what I would want to see. You know, for example, on the actual map. I don't know if you saw at the beginning. There's like a little car park right by that road. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to you know, have a few more buildings in that area because again, I want to drop people in. I've got car parks everywhere and there's going to be more car parks. I can tell you that. And just so everyone knows, I may sound a bit stuffy right now. I'm not sick. I don't have any kind of illness at all. I just suffer from hay fever. So, you know, my nose is a bit stuffy. My eyes are watery. So I apologize for the quality of my voice. Um, can your voice have quality? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, and, you know, my job involves me talking all the time. So, you know, on my day off, I'm doing this and it can be a little too frozen sometimes, but you know what, I enjoy doing it, so it's worth it, 100%. And, you know, I'm going to record several videos today, so by the end of it, I might not sound as uh, treppy, shall we say, but, you know, it is, you know, I love it. It's amazing. I love doing this content for you guys, I really do. Anyway, enough about me. What am I doing on screen? So, I was talking at the beginning about that little river that goes through the middle here, and in this episode, I've been one side later on, a few other episodes down, I don't know if it's next one or the one after, I'm not 100% sure in the order. I'm pretty sure it's the one after. Uh, I build the other side, so we kind of complete this this little area and it looks amazing. And I was looking at Google Maps this for a while and these stairs, they're just really steep for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I'm hoping people don't use those ones. Instead, they use the side stairs, which I'm doing now. Um, they kind of go down the side. There's like a little ramp for cars to go down. Uh, I'd imagine it's more for maintenance purposes. I wouldn't imagine people would just drive their car down to this little river bit because there's not a lot down there. There's some greenery, some trees on top of concrete, um, you know, where nature has grown and overgrown the area. But apart from that, there's not really much down there. So, yeah, I'd imagine people don't drive down there themselves. It'd just be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. 
these networks are amazing i love these walls these walls they're just fantastic the only downside to them unfortunately is when you zoom out there's no lod i don't know why because there is an lod so i i i dump the networks to have a look at them um to see you know if it's an easy fix if not so you know i could help out um doing a few asset creations myself played with networks as well so thought i'd have a look and give it a go worth a try right and um yeah they have an lod but for some reason it just doesn't ever want to show it shows at a point and then it disappears so i've turned my ultimate level detail on networks up to pretty much full to the point that it's you know select that little option that says good luck you know the one and um yeah it's still it still disappear it's a bit annoying but you know what sacrifice that for this series because that looks amazing the area i'm doing here i put these planters in and i you know i put them over where i originally had parking spaces again in the actual area itself there are parking spaces behind these buildings but i was like you know i've got a lot of parking there's a big parking lot there there's one over there there's another one going here i, I thought i'd just move away from them and you know have more of a nice looking area something a bit nice because people are going to walk behind here cars are going to drive behind here around between the buildings people walk it is a main street um and don't worry that path is going to disappear it's going to become an invisible path so don't worry about that and um i wanted to make it look nicer and i'm going to go back in a minute and i'm going to detail the whole area and you know i think it looks great personally i mean that is my personal opinion more parking yay i'm gonna get really fed up with doing parking by the end of this series i'll be honest it is everywhere and there's just so much parking in japan but yeah it's cool anyway i'm gonna get back in i'm gonna continue building this area and i'm gonna leave it to some music because who wants to listen to me talk And after about an all of three minutes, I'm back. Um, I don't think it was that. It's probably about one, maybe two. I don't know. Anyway, you'll have to listen to me now. I apologize. If you don't like it, you know where the mute button is. Enjoy the video. Put some tunes on in the background. Anyway, enough of me. Um, and that can never be enough of me. That was self-centered. Oh, anyway, on screen. So what I'm doing now, and I'll be honest with you all now, this isn't what I end up with at all. Um... I had this really cool idea of doing these really nice little blocks here and in the actual area that's kind of there but by the time i did these rocks and i covered all the the area up with the greenery and the decals and stuff you couldn't really see them so i was like well why spend ages messing about with them because we're gonna have to do this again later on as well in different parts so i thought you know what i, I i'm just gonna put down some asphalt so i can decal it and it's kind of just as good and it does and yeah, you'll see that again in the cinematic. So apologies for, you know, spending a minute or so doing this and then taking it away from you. Um, and when I do the other side, you get to see me do it all again because I did them all at the same time and went back in uh, afterwards and changed them about. So sorry, you'll get to watch uh, me do several things and knowing that that's not how it ends. But I'm sure I'll tell you that in that episode too. Or I'll go out my way not to. Who knows? Anyway yeah so just it just ends up that area a bit now and I, I love this bit this once this is finished this area looks amazing it's really nice one of my favorite places really is and as you can see i've put this like rockery thing underneath where you can see the rocks and stuff like that and that's something i'm going to keep going um i do change it up for some gravel and i didn't like it so i moved away from it i'm moving faster than i can talk this area it looks is gonna look completely different to what it does in Nagasaki because I couldn't get a building that fit just right, so I had to kind of change it up a little bit. I went for more of a bigger building, put a few more residential in the area. I do detail it up a little bit. It looks similar, but the building's not the same. Uh, it's the same color, it's red, but it's just not the same. And uh, but it does look good. I like it anyway, and you know I'm I'm hoping you do. So far, people seem to love what I do. It's like I said, it's not 100% Nagasaki. It's slightly different. It's a bit more what we can do in this game without really spending like a month building assets and then going back to it. I do enough of that as it is. 
I, you know, there's so much. And, and as I, you know, build them and put them in the game, and as that episode releases, that asset will release. So last week, for example, we had the tram. I hope you all like the tram. It, it was amazing. I loved it. It was my first one. Uh, in fact, I think this is the first vehicle I've ever made, uh, apart from a boat once, which looked rubbish, so that's fine. But it was made for a specific purpose. So, yeah, first uh, vehicle I've ever made. I loved it. I love these um what they're called it's like awnings as they are now unfortunately the guy who made these um his account got hacked so i had to make a local version of these but you know it's there's a lot of that at the moment isn't there so many people are getting hacked on discord and steam and you know they're clicking links they shouldn't do you know general if you don't recognize the person don't click the link if you do recognize the person and the message they've sent you is out of content don't click the link if you're concerned type a message back because it's usually a bot which means they won't reply with oh yeah no it's something i did blah 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 blah. they're not going to reply or they'll reply with thank you very much for your inquiry or, or something stupid like that so you know be vigilant out there guys please because so many great asset creators are losing either their discords or their steam workshops and it's it's painful for you guys because you do great work and you shouldn't be targeted like this and you shouldn't be losing everything so you know please be vigilant and just pay attention to what you click and, and don't go crazy um for your own sakes please look after your own personal accounts and details anyway rambling over it wasn't really a ramble was it no it was a ramble it's me it's a ramble that was probably the wrong english in there as well because that's also me i'm talking a lot in this video and i do apologize hmm. oh yeah there you can see i'm doing it again that same sort of thing but this one's different apparently um it is different so these are slightly different this area again these areas do change because i come up with this idea of a build and then you know things happen and you end up changing your mind and you do things slightly different and when you're building it you know there's always several different attempts and also for some reason i had an issue with a an asset um it was one that i made so i'll take full blame and um it's, it's not a workshop once don't worry about it and i put it up and i put it down and for some reason it just crashed my game and i was like oh okay and stupidly i hadn't saved in five minutes anyway i digress or do i no not really i mean yeah anyway i'm rambling a lot today and i do apologize but back to screen i said that so many times today it should be a catchphrase and now back to my screen um anyway this area was it's got this really weird shaped building here and you know i spent a long time workshop hunting to try and find one that can fit and i couldn't really find one so what i ended up doing is i found these i think they're world war ii buildings on the workshop i can't remember what they're called um but they're, they're all chips as well so i ended up sort of merging them in with a japanese um content creator pack building and putting some walls around it bit of greenery as they were playing about with a lot of po and again that's going to be a recurring theme in the series po everywhere i'm going to be poing it all i love po it's, it's a great mod and without it i'd be lost i wouldn't be able to do this at all so you know simon cheers thank you so much for that and uh apologies if my mic just made a noise um i'm wearing a headset as well with uh, like the down mic for some reason i got two sets of mics and um i just knocked into the um the pop filter thing um so apologies for that and uh, i could re-record but uh, now nah, i'm all right i sorry i do apologize talking so much rubbish <laughs> but you know what i'm going to stop talking because i'm rambling and i'm talking absolute rubbish and uh you know what the most important thing i can say right now is i'm loving this series so far I know it's only episode two or three, depending on the way you look at it, but it's been so much fun. I'm still enjoying it. I build whenever I get a chance. I'm going to leave you to watch a few things here and, uh, you yeah, know, come back in towards the end. Enjoy some music.
Okay, I'm just going to quickly chime in here for anyone who moans that I put the asphalt around here and says, oh, why you just no control it? I tried that. It looked awful, terrible, absolute pants. Not the mod. The mod's amazing, but I just couldn't get it to look the way I wanted it here. I tried all three versions of no controller that I can get hold of on the workshop. None of them really made it look any good. Um, so I decided just to sit some asphalt on it. It took a little longer, but the, the effect looks a lot better because that's what it is in in the area it's just got one big turn anyway i say i was leaving you alone to the end so sorry ignore me i was never here
Okay, I'm back. We've done a lot in this episode, so it's been quite a long one. I do apologise. In total, so 30 minutes long. I know it is a long one. The last one was a long one as well. So, you know, if, if you don't want to watch it or you do want to skip, I put chapters in the description so you can go to certain areas, certain bits you'd like to see, that type of thing. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching. It's been great. I, again, I've loved this build. I really enjoyed it. I'm backing it as much as I can to do this for you because I love it. I love it for me. I love it for you. Your responses, your views are amazing. People are really getting into it. You know, leaving comments. And please, everybody, leave a comment down below. If you've enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, I do reply to them. I don't reply to them straight away. I usually reply to them just as I'm uploading. But, you know, I do reply. And I love to read every single comment people write, no matter what it is. And, you know, it, it's great to see. And I try my best to give constructive feedback, if need be, or criticism at all. But if you've enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button if you're not already like thumbs up please thumbs up comment if you're a regular and not subscribed then please click the subscribe button close your eyes and click and it's done seconds is all it takes to make somebody's day but thank you so much for joining me in nagasaki my patreon link is down below along with my workshop description and before i go point out i know this is a giant saxophone in nagasaki but i couldn't find one and i didn't want to make one have a good one and enjoy the rest of your day